Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Atom RPG. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today here in the circus as we look for the lady that lays eggs. Could it be this one? A young thin girl graciously walks on a line. She has cat-like eyes almost, uh, drawn in the sand. Oh wait, uh, on a line drawn in the sand, one leg after another, keeping balance with barely visible moves of her hips. When she notices you, the blue-eyed performer turns around and asks in a cute, shy voice. Did you want anything? I'm just training for my tightrope routine. Name's Agafia Arkanova. I'm an acrobat. The girl quiets down and a terrible, screechy voice starts coming from her lower abdomen. People in this circus... F mouths in their belly. <laughs> hey, Agafia, you damn cow, says, I suppose, the screechy voice. Should probably go with, hey, Agafia, you damn cow. Who are you talking to? Some hot stallion, I bet. Don't you dare drive him away with your stupid shy attitude, bitch. Hey, lover boy, come on closer. Agafia screams and shrinks away from you. She looks as if she was insulted and violated, which... I mean, at least on the insult a bit, uh, definitely is the case. Uh, on the other, I hope not. But that does not stop the voice coming straight out of her lower abdomen. Hey, bully boy! Although that might be in, related, in relation to the stallion, which studies the word, but anyway, could be from bull, I don't know. If you're out there, I can't see shit from where I'm at. Just take off Agafia's uh, clothes and let's start making babies! Filled with anger, Agafia elbows herself in the stomach, and the voice stops. Okay. After a few breaths, the girl continues with her uh, average, shy voice. I thought it was cute, not average. I mean, maybe maybe we're just defining the average voice as being cute. Ah, I suppose that's okay. I'm so sorry, she says. That wasn't me talking, so how may I help you? Yes, I realized it wasn't you. I suppose, I mean, can I... What was that? Where did, did this voice come from? Well, and apparently I passed the personality check. I don't like to talk about things like that, but what can a girl do? I have this slight mutation. Well, the other man had the, uh, had just, you know, for all I can tell, he just had a, a hole. And it's like his, his esophagus went straight outside. Maybe it's not even a mutation. It probably was, because it, 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 it was described in a very specific way, so. This is m less slight than that other mutation. Because this one talks. No, wait, the other one did as well. I'm... Oh my god. <laughs> the other one did talk as well. She says, One of the organs in my body has its own mind and an ability to talk like a goddamn chatterbox. Pardon the expression. Yeah, chatterbox. Ugh, gross. I don't like her. The quiet girl... Sorry, the girl quiets down and a terrible screechy voice starts coming from her lower abdomen yet again. And believe you me, that organ she told you about ain't the spleen, if you know what I mean. Hey bud, Agafia seems to trust ya. Maybe you can hook her up with a guy or two, or even try handling her yourself. Come on. Dios mio, says Fidel. I sure hope nothing in my body will will start talking after this meeting. Although I'd be pretty, it'd be pretty interesting to hear what stories my members might tell. Your organs? Or your members? Because... Is it her coming from her crotch? Because if it's lower abdomen, it could be, you know, it could be anything, really. Uh, but if it, like, I... That would be funny if it were, well, so, I mean, at least straight, more straightforwardly funny, anyway. If it were uh, immediately put forth that her crotch was talking to us. Because that is, holy crap. And, uh, and just, yeah, and now Fidel saying about the members bit would also be interesting. Also, it's interesting that he wants to hear the stories his member tell uh, would tell him, which suggests that he just is a heavy drinker and uh, frequently loses uh, memory. The 40 year oh, no no, she's saying something. The 40-year-old virgin is the first story that comes to mind, she says. Uh isn't that a, a movie? I think so. That it's not a movie from the 80s though, so I mm. Uh, is she saying, is she saying f that to Fidel? Maybe. I, I, I don't know, I, maybe. Um, uh, so you're like a, a ventriloquist or something. 
which, unfortunately, I couldn't ask of the guy who was literally a ventriloquist. Uh, just making sure. Um, actually, I don't want to make sure. I want to ask more. So how's life with this thing? She grows silent, but her abdomen responds. You should rather ask me. What's it likely to live in a body of a shy little cow that can't even lend a man for us both to enjoy? Maybe, okay, well, uh, you're a ventriloquist? Oh, it's not that easy, she says. Sometimes I actually hope I've got, uh, I simply got a split personality. At least that can be cured. Well, it can be managed, as far as I can tell. Yeah, uh... So, how's life in the circus? Pretty good, actually, she says. We're giving lots of laughs to the people, and we earn enough to feed ourselves. I can't dream of anything more beautiful than the eyes of children that hold their breaths while looking at my tricks above the arena. It's a good thing your crotch doesn't talk to them, because otherwise they'll, they would, they, they, it would be screams of children running away and trampling over each other. She quiets down, but in, a, in just a moment you start hearing a voice again, the voice again. And it's coming from the girl's torso, so it could be another thing. I don't... The, if you know what I mean, uh, a line. Like, it's not a spleen, if you know what I mean. What, do you, what, what? What is it, then? There's so many things in there. There's so many things in our abdomen. What could it be? It's the liver. It's probably the liver. I mean, screechy voice. It, livers have screechy voices. We all know that. Most of the kids that look at you are older than 18. And they stare at your butt, says the liver. Uh, interesting. So, uh, aren't you scared of walking the tightrope? It just takes a lot of training, that's it. Well, <laughs> well, that that is it, I suppose. A normal man would never survive up there, she says. But for me, walking the rope is like walking a street. Uh, sure. What can you tell me about your colleagues? They're a weird bunch. We're not bound by blood, but we really are bound by something. Maybe it's the mutations. That's why we can talk freely without fear of seeming strange or insulting to one another. We also have our own inside jokes and stuff like that. It's good to be among your kin. I suppose. Uh, rumors? Once I thought that our Praskovia Pai, the animal trainer... Okay. Actually, that should be the other way. Once I thought that our animal trainer, Praskovia Pai, was the only person capable of dominating a mutant insect. But then I heard about a man from Krasnoznameni who has a pet mermic. Again with the mermics. And, t and get this. He doesn't even shout at the poor thing like Praskovia does. They're like two brothers, a human and an ant. Would you believe that? Yeah. Shh, that, I don't remember seeing that person. But maybe I do. I remember hearing about it. Mm, I'm mostly... I don't remember, basically. So maybe we did talk to that person. I don't know. Uh, any... Oh, oh, I need to look into that, don't I? So we got wasp legs, I can sell you that broken bottle, because I am not going to need it. Uh, she seems to pay quite a lot of money for things. That grenade is a lot of... Yeah, she pays She pays a lot. Uh, let's see, so I got soap. Just one. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. I could get the wire as well. Nah, I don't need the wire. It's good, thank you. Soap and a, bo and a broken bottle. Okay. Uh, it's good, thank you very much. Uh, let's see, so I have this thing so yellow paste a uh, piece of paper filled with calligraphy writing yes today I buried my oh yeah this one right the calligraphy writing bit um, not cursiva writing calligraphy which just means writing in a hand well I guess that maybe is what it is it's not like writing by machine you see a oh this is the guy that's bleeding from his nose why would they do that? Why would they pull on his nose? Why? Also, it's not a nose. Technically, it's a beak. You see a waifish young man of around 20. Age. Age. Very important. He has large, deep-set eyes. Or deep eyes. Also, he sports a huge, colorful beak. It, well, it just has one color, but still. Uh, that grows out of his face. As he sees you, he begins talking in an unpleasant voice, resembling that of a parrot. Which I'm not going to imitate, because I'm terrible with that. Uh, this scream of cranes that fly... A scream? Is a scream like a group of cranes? Why are cranes capitalized? Anyway, cranes are birds. Which I didn't know for a long part, uh, long part of my life. I thought they were just the, the thing. The, you know, the cranes that are in construction. But no, they're birds. The cranes are named after the birds because they, they have such long legs. Anyway, this scream of cranes that fly towards the south, he says... 
I hear it, yet I'm bound to the ground. No wings I hath, and neither can I fly. My name is Ivan the Crane. Oh, dear friend of mine. Oh. That's, that was pretty interesting. Uh, sweet rhymes, my man. Uh, uh, so why are, you, why are you calling yourself a crane? You should be a pelican. Is it a pelican? It's not a pelican. What is this? This is a beak of a thing, and I don't know what it is. It's not a pelican. The pelican is the one that has, like, a, a lower... The lower part of the beak has, like, a sack or something, as far as I can tell. Is it because of the beak? The young man starts counting reasons using his thin, long fingers. First of all, it's the beak. Second, it's my love for standing on one leg. I also like saying cocoa a lot, which I didn't know cranes did. I'm pretty sure they don't. Also, my favorite um, food consists of small animals I eat raw, like frogs, for example. You could eat snails, at least. I think uh, snails, can you eat them raw? I'm not really sure. That, that'd that be another, you know, it's because eating the, the, the frogs raw might be a little bit... It's about the same thing. If snails or frogs, eating them raw, probably a bad idea. And you know, he says, I just feel myself like I'm a crane. Ever since I was a child, I always wished I could fly south, lay eggs, make nests in tall oak trees, as if this body hides a, magnific uh, a magnificent white bird. It doesn't hide it very well, because the beak is already coming off, ready to take off at any second. Zzz. It's not just about the beak. No, it, it isn't. It really isn't. Um, so we cranes, he says, are smart beasts, so prepare to not understand most of what I shall say. Ah, that's fine. Actually, this game, it's, it, yeah, this game actually, I can understand most of what he's saying, with what is being said. So, um, it's gonna be a change of pace if I don't. The young man crosses his arms. I asked him about himself. He crosses his arms on his chest and points his beak towards the sky as he starts a sentimental story. At one point, you start hearing a tiny violin playing the background of his sad tale. No, okay. I understand what he says, the narrator. I don't understand what the narrator says. So I don't know if he's the narrator is telling me that he, throughout this, he's telling me a, a sentimental tale, or if throughout this, he's telling me a sentimental tale. Because shut up, narrator, you don't know anything. I was an ordinary, good-looking guy, he says, until the age of 15. And he's 20 now, according to my psychic skills. But then my mouth started fusing together with my nose. Which he had uh, already. Of course, the nose, rather, not the beak. Right, 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 right. Your, his mouth started fusing together with the nose. That's okay, that's, yeah. And hardened into a long beak. Still, my family did not panic. They fed me from tall glasses and vases. Led me to the swamps where I feasted upon frogs. Right. I think the tall glasses and vases bit over here might be in relation to the tale of the... Um, is it a stork? Snork. St uh, stork? I think it's stork. Can't remember now. It's basically a tale between a fox and a bird. And uh, the fox... Or rather, is it the bird that asks the fox to go uh, out to dinner and then serves the fox just big tall glasses and vases? And then the other way around goes and the fox serves the, the bird just uh, plates? It's a pretty common story. You might have heard of it. And... Uh, if you didn't hear of it, of it, and especially if this isn't the reference to that, it makes no sense. Why would they do that? Why? Like, oh, my my kid has a beak. Nah, nope, never mind. I'll fetch the tall glasses. The police have, he says, the police have ended when my dear papa died during a hunt. After grieving for half a year, my dearest mother named Zeka Mutant Slapper Matvienko. Shouldn't be Matvienka? I don't know how Russian works. A true Leninist and hater of all mutants. Wait, what? No, 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 no. No, uh, right. His dearest mother married this dude. Right, 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 right. Uh, who was a Leninist. Who apparently also hated um, a lot of uh, mutants. He quickly made my life impossible. Thus, I found myself joining this trope of misfits. Well, that's life for you. Uh, so, you like it around here? Honestly... I know there's no place better for me with my condition, but still, some days I dream of different vistas. Uh-huh. So, what are you doing here in the circus? Oh, that's not what I really want. What? Sure. I would like to create art uh, on a real theater stage, not here. 
because this is not real. Here I mostly sit in an improvised nest, excuse the hiccups, taking care of plastic eggs or stand on one leg as the crowd cheers and jeers for me. Although a few, this is a very easily entertained crowd. Uh, although a few times, me and Gutsy the Clown, we made real theatrical, theatrical shows. One of those, the Emerald Mammoth, even got a standing ovation from the crowd. In that show, I was playing a burned out Soviet military officer whose service awards were taken by his friend. Riveting. I stood on one leg and made bird noises, begging my stage partner to give them back, but he just insulted me in return. It was a real antique drama, exclamation mark, dot, dot. I'm sure. Is it a reference to something? Maybe. Maybe it is. Uh, any good rumors? I heard that more and more people go to the video salon instead of the circus. Plebeians. Leave art. Sorry. Live art is much better than an old videotape, exclamation mark, dot, dot. It's uh, stronger. More beautiful. It's alive. Sure. I suppose, I suppose, video killed the radio stars and all that. Maybe that didn't have anything to do with what he said. Hi. Ooh, a thin looking cloud observes the swampy surroundings of the circus. When you get closer to him, he quickly turns around and starts pointing his middle finger into your face. Here you go, here you go, you cunt. Wanted to sneak up on Ray Joe the Clown? Fuck you, you failed. Get out of here before I pop your stomach with some lead. The, per the personal magnetism that's coming from you seems like it's strong even... It's too strong, even for the harsh heart of the clown. I think he was just joking, really, especially the way I portrayed him. After a few more insults that they are shall not here be named, uh, the performer calms down and lowers his hands, looking very shy and apologetic. This is a sudden turn of heart. Damn, dude! I can't stay mad at you! Despite my name, I don't feel any rage towards you. What did you want of me? Despite your name. Shouldn't it be despite my name? And you'd be like, oh, despite your name, I don't feel any rage towards you. That made more sense. But no, it's fine. He's Rajo. Rajo the Clown. Uh, why did they call you that? I mean, besides the opposite, the, the obvious. Well, simple, really. I constantly feel enraged. That's why I'm Rajo the wacky, yet menacing clown. Never met angry people before, eh? I... So what's your mutation? It's chronic pain that makes him mad all the time? Uh, uh, yeah, could be one. My legs look like they came from a lizard, he says. Don't even ask me. I won't show them to you. I'm still traumatized. Oh, and I was teased during my childhood. Did I get your magic uh, age at the beginning? I did not. I did not. We skipped right to the insults. Because um, I would like to see what childhood that is, because that... The timeline is important. What names they used to call me, he says. I can't even say the word dinosaur without trembling even now, and you when I'm an adult. Why did you say it then? Don't say it. Uh, so, uh, tell me about the circus. The only sanctuary for those like us. You either join a circus or a gang like that one over at the dump. Mm, do I know where, where that is? I'm not really sure. Not saying the circus is the better option, but we don't get too much trouble from the authorities and their mercenaries, at the very least. Okay, um, so can't ask anything. Well, uh, okay, yeah, I can't ask anything about uh, of him. He does have some uh, interesting things. Recovery from blindness. A med kit does that. I would like a med kit. I, pr I probably would like a med He has three med kits. Wait a minute, which means one of them is pretty cheap. <gasps> I'll buy all three. I'll buy all three. Uh, let's see. Super stimulant. Those are also pretty good. And they're pretty cheap as well. Well, I have things that I could sell. Do I? I mean, I have this thing. I have these things. Uh, I have that. I definitely have this. That I'm never gonna use, ever. And certainly not give any of my, com uh, any of my, uh, companions that. Because they will just murder me, I'm pretty sure. Pile of books... See, what does that do? Adds tinkering. <laughs> so ridiculous. Uh, canned meat. Uh, I might want to sell those, though. They're not very heavy, so I might want to just keep them as well. Toadstool. Yeah, I'll sell those. And uh, we're going to buy those. Uh, and he doesn't have bullets. So I'll get the stimulants or the super stimulants. These are the crappier versions. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm going to need to sell something else anyway. Crossbow bolts. We have... Uh, Coffee. 
Well, that's expensive. Huh. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay, so we can take one away of these. 48. Just need to take away one. Hmm. Or give something else. Okay, let's give some money, maybe. It's only five things. I could sell, sell these as well. I don't think I have anything that costs five, though. Just loves things so much. Is a potato? I can sell a potato. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, good stuff. Thank you for all the things. Moving on. Raja. Oh, hi. I can see you there. He seems very sad. He's like, my attire is so gorgeous, but my shoes are red. Nobody likes... Those are actually pretty cool looking boots. Oh, it's this guy. Sorry, I didn't see your boots. Uh, they are cool. Also, do you have a nose? He does have a nose. That's fantastic. They went to the, thr the, the trouble of... Um, of getting him a um, a beak, an actual beak on his character. I'll take that. I'll talk to that guy in a little bit or girl. We have gasoline. Look at that, actual gasoline and a pipe rifle. Hopefully, pipe rifle here have uh, has ammo and it does. Actually, that's gonna be. It's the first time I'm seeing that, so it's not like the rusty rifle. It might be a good. Ooh, what am I doing? Go away. Settings, okay, that's, that didn't destroy anything. Um, there's nothing in here, okay. So let's look at our pipe rifle over here and uh, see if it is good. 5 to, to 11. Well, it uses round, which is the same as this. So it's basically the same, uh, same weapon. Or, not the same weapon, but um, the same ammo, I should say. But it's the same type of weapon, I sh that's what I wanted to say. So maybe I want that. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit worse and probably less accurate. Well, we can experiment that. It should be simple enough. Let's have a chat with this fellow over here. He seems very happy to see me. A fair-haired man, even though he's got a cap on, uh, with a serious glare, inspects the swampy surroundings of the circus as you come closer to him. He studies you for a bit, then nods as if he has reached some kind of conclusion. Hey there, traveler. You look like an adventure seeker, so maybe you would like to do a little job for us here in the circus? I... sure. Yeah, okay. So, uh, there's a pack of rather vile rats living near the circus. We'd be fine with it, but, uh, they already ate one of our guests. Thank goodness nobody noticed it. But, uh, if stuff like that continues, we could say bye-bye to our money. We, who needs a circus where you have a high chance of getting mauled by rats? Oh, I, I've seen those. I didn't kill them yet, but um, your circus, circus isn't popular as it is, I could say. Uh, and I, I think I might want... Uh, what will I get for my troubles? Well, I'll throw some cash and mads your way, you know? After all, them are just rats, buddy. Not a lost expedition or something like that. Which means that if it were the case, you wouldn't throw some cash and meds my way? Because it makes it sound like he's... Anyway, I'll do it. Glad to hear it. You'll find these vermin to the north of here, right behind the old plane. I do it myself, but I have to stand here. I just, it, it's fine. Rats are a problem, sure, but people are even worse. Yeah. Uh. So I'll talk to you when I get those rats, because I want to go and kill them. I want to try this new weapon. Where did I get it? I got the weapon just from a crate, didn't I? Huh. That's pretty good. I think the rats... Oh, I'm going the wrong direction altogether. Right click, indeed. Can I go through? I need to go through here. See, I was right. Okay. I mean, and it wasn't, it wasn't just a guess, by the way. It was, or just be me being mistaken. I really remembered the rats up here. And I had the vague idea that it was through there, but... You know, sense of direction and all that. And in fact, I was wrong. It was not through there. The rats are over yonder. Or maybe they're not. I actually don't see them. Where the heck are the rats? They're not just north of you. You're a liar. What in the world... I didn't kill them. Well, it's behind the plane, so... Yeah, definitely. The opposite of north. That's that's where they are. 
Huh, so I was wrong, but uh, m more wrong than I thought. Yeah, it's over here. Somewhere. These mushrooms don't do anything. There they are. I see the rats. Them rats, as he put it. Them rats! With that voice. I need to catalog my voices. So I can rem easily, like, assign and remember voices. It's, a, it's an easy trick for, you know, people who do stuff like this. To, um... Just have voices based on specific traits. Like, fi like color of the hair. And just give vo two voices to the, each color. And that way you always remember. And then, you know, make like a table in your head. So my chance to hit is terrible. Uh, do I need to click that again? I do indeed. My chance to hit is impossible is actually what it is. That's really curious. Zero percent. It is line of sight. I can't shoot over the... the... Oh yeah, we're ready. Are we? Well, there's a lot of rats, but Lenin over here, he, he's good with this. He's gonna liberate the people. I'm literally here because the rats are, you know, the the, the the oppressing class. This might not go as nicely as I want it to. Really? Well, that was... Oh, no. The rats are strong as heck. I did 16 and that guy's only injured? And there's a white one? Which probably doesn't mean anything. They all have slightly different colors. Or maybe it does. Lenin is taking quite a lot of damage here. Oh, I don't think this is gonna end well. Nice stab! Unfortunately not attacking the right person. Or, not definitely not person. Okay, so I'm gonna get out the big guns in here. And go for the eyes. Boo. Go for the eyes. Also, I'm much better at this. So that's healthy. Uh, that was a miss. Almost dead, though. I don't know if that guy's stronger or not. They all have red eyes, which is a trait common to. Oh, he's almost dead. I didn't. Oh no, he's gonna die. Oh yeah, he's just died. Well, that's not happening. Also, can't reload. Can't reload. Ooh, this is gonna be easy. Anyway, we're. G I'm gonna take care of them off camera because. Uh, if I can kite them, which I can't, but if I can um, kill them at least one at a time. These are not just some rats. They are the rats of creation. They are the worst things. Um, but yeah, it should be fine. Where's Fidel? There it is. Um, so yeah, for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Atom RPG. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.